Are we talking about business education? I've got with me uh, Mr. Maria Mariano Brown, if I cannot name uh, correct. He is the CEO of the University of West Indies Arthur Lock Jack Global School of Business. And uh, to his right, I've got Dr. Ron Sukram, ac Academic Director of uh, that uh, business institution. Gentlemen, welcome to Guyana, welcome to our program. Good, Good morning, morning and thank you for having right. us. So, uh, this long name, University of West Indies, <laughs> Arthur Lock Jack Global School of Business. Mm -hmm. ah, quite a breath you have to take. Tell us a bit about that. Well, we started off life as the Institute of Business, which was an outreach program which was started off by uh, one of the deans at the UWI, um, in, in business actually. And um, it was meant to be a specific training program to address the training needs of the business sector. Mm -hmm. And out of the Institute of Business, uh, we eventually crafted a separate institution. We are actually a sep we are formed as a as a company, an organization, um, and all of our programs are delivered uh, or affiliated. We pass through the UE's academic structure. Um, so, in a sense, the entire academic program. Uh, is overseen by UWI, but we operate as an independent entity, independent of the university. Run on no, no government subsidy, we operate on our own, largely in association with the private sector. So it's focused on the business training program. And the idea is, well, we have to have, retain some sort of academic structure, but at the same token, it's meant to be more practical. Hence the focus on, if you want, on business degrees. So our orientation is on business programs. So we have an undergraduate business degree, and then we have a graduate business degree, or a graduate business degree is the focus of which, the fulcrum of which is the MBA. But spinning off from the MBA, we also have specialties in terms of marketing, finance, uh, HR, human resource management, and a specialty management program, which is geared at what we consider to be up and coming companies, uh, which is called we manage MS, MSME, Management of Small and Medium Enterprises. Mm -hmm. So it's a focus, it's purely business, which is completely different to the university, which is more academic. And the, the name, the moniker Arthur Lock Jack, precisely because it grew out of the business sector, well, to re, re, remain independent, you need money. And Mr. Lock Jack gave us an endowment, right? So as a result of which, and it's common in the business school. So for example, in MIT, you have the Arthur P. Lutz clone um, School of Business, or you have said, University, Oxford University Business School is called SAID. It's also the, the business programs that reach out and they become, in a sense, the schools become labeled from that perspective. Yeah, let me bring in here Dr. Um, Sukram. Uh, Guyana, w w why um, the visit to Guyana? Well, first of all, um, the, the, the Lock Jack Global School of Business, um, we are regional in scope as well, so we offer our programs throughout the region. And we have been in Guyana over 10 years, okay? So we actually have students who are currently right here based in, in Guyana and graduates from our programs. So we are here since COVID. I mean, this is our first in-person or face-to-face -face event and we chose to come to Guyana to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and to re-engage with our students, our graduates, our alumni, and the business community which we have been serving over the years. And of course, understanding the changes that is taking place in the, in, in the economy and society by extension. Um, to understand those needs and therefore how we can help partner with those different um, communities of business uh, practitioners as well as persons or individuals who want to you know upgrade themselves professionally where we can fit into that whole spectrum and therefore help in the development of, of Guyana and, and further just, development and just to continue along those lines because we don't only offer degrees at undergraduate or graduate level we also op operate what is called executive management training programs mm -hmm. which is very specific which is very focused which is skill centered skill based uh, just like at the other business schools so we handle topics different topical areas um, uh, taxation accounting different types of what you call HR management, very specific sort of courses which are geared to the needs of the business community. So we have an executive education arm and a program. So we run a series of programs every month just simply on edu executive education. There are programs that can be short programs, mm -hmm. uh, which will last a month. There can be longer programs, could last three months. Mm -hmm. right? So, all so you, you can accommodate tailored 
Yes, so yes. Even for a specific location, a specific company. Yes, yes. exactly. And we do tailored programs as well, pre precisely because to, to companies. We go to the companies and they basically tell us what they need, what they want, what are they looking for. And we will basically sculpture programs to, to, to fit the needs of those companies. And we have been doing this in Guyana as well. Right, yeah. but let me just uh, I'll put you in a spot here. You know, uh, I started in 1989, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in context of what happened was happening then in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. of context of what happened now yeah. between a twinkling of an eye. Everybody now is talking about food security, manufacturing, yeah. agriculture, oil and gas, mm -hmm. uh, space exploration, and what have you. Mm -hmm. Business? Who cares about business? <laughs> well, you, you can't do anything without business, right? The one thing you will learn, if you look at space exploration for, for that point of view, um, you need to have a lot of money for it. Yeah. So how, what are the economics? How is it going to work? How is it going to be funded? Quite apart from the science, mm -hmm. that you have to have the science behind it. Mm -hmm. But then by definition, it has to make sense. The money has to come from somewhere. You have to have an investment zone. And in fact, the, 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 the Avionics industry is a, a classic example of that. It started off initially with government involvement, but the private sector becomes big and becomes strong in its own right in terms of research and development and everything else. But it has to have a foundation. So you have to have principles. What are the principles you're going to operate on? Well, that's where we're coming. That's what universities and learning establishments were set up to do, to distill those principles into a way that can be trained and can be passed on. Let me ask you, you did mention it as we were talking, um, but is there a specific focus of uh, the type of programs that you, specific programs yeah. that you do at university? So we have a portfolio of five, what we call postgraduate or master level mm -hmm. um, offerings. So we have the MBA, which Mr. Brown um, mentioned, but you also have specialized functional master's um, business programs in marketing, finance, human resource management, and as you indicated in terms of the small and medium enterprise management. We have a Bachelor of International Business um, as well, and as also in terms of the, 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 the executive arm of the school, the, that ranges across all the spectrum of management and business, so it's very diverse in that sense. Yeah. So you're here on a tour to meet Guyanese, meet businesses and so forth. You're here on the Guyana today. What else will you be doing to reach out to, to um, Guyanese? Well, first of all, this afternoon, mm -hmm. or later today at 5, we have, as I mentioned, a base of students here mm -hmm. and graduates. So with, first of all, our protocol is to meet these people, reconnect with them, and understand what is happening with them. Tomorrow, we will be having a business seminar, which Mr. Brown will be presenting a feature presentation on that has to do with managing growth of firms and the national economy. And the business community is invited to that as well. Mm -hmm. And then we have the series of meetings that we are meeting with different um, organization representatives throughout the next two days. What's that? Where, where, where is going to be your um, big event tomorrow? Um, which location? At the Ramada. At the Ramada. Yeah, yeah, everything is going to take place in the Ramada. Everything is going to be yeah. taking place. To, uh, so the meeting of John Public will be tomorrow at... At 5 at, at the five, Ramada. At Ramada. Yeah, and, at Ramada. And, 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 of course, your presentation, mm -hmm. but you will facilitate the question and answer segment. But, of again. course, yes. yes. Uh, and it's free. <laughs> and, and it's for free. All right, for free. Uh, any, any closing remarks, sir? Well, no, I mean, it, it, Guyana has some unique opportunities at this stage, but your unique challenges. And that's where the business of education comes in. In fact, we wrote a paper, um, Ron and myself, uh, so we got a little spread in the newspaper over the weekend. And the idea, we were just trying to map out, these are the challenges that you will face. So these are the kind of things that you have to do to address it. The bottom line is that you will own always has challenges, but you respond to it on the basis of a needs basis, but it's far better to plan to recognize what those challenges are, to if you want to have better outcomes, more realistic outcomes, or alternatively, more efficient outcomes more successful outcomes. Thank you, gentlemen, for being on our program. If you want to know more in, about business and how you can be uh, suitably qualified, why not go to the Ramada uh, Hotel uh, tomorrow at 5 o'clock and be informed. Stay with us. We have more for you on Guyana Today.